Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my world. If you're new here, awesome. Glad to meet you. Um, if you're not new here, welcome back. Um, today the video is going to be about uh, the diagnosis that I just got, um, the clinical diagnosis of ADHD, which I pretty much expected because um, I've thought that I've had it for a long time. And so I'll go over some of the symptoms or things that made me realize that I might be, uh, be have ADHD and or autism. Uh, it turns out the doctor believes that it could be both, but I don't know that they'll pursue the autism because it's kind of hard to get adults diagnosed. So for now, I'm just going with ADHD, uh, but could be ADHD as well. Um, the symptoms I'm having, you may have some of them, you may have all of them, but it doesn't mean necessarily that you have ADHD. You'd want to get evaluated by a psychiatrist for that. So I'll just give you a few of the things that has affected my life and how I knew that it was time to get evaluated. Um, I've always been really fidgety. I move a lot. My hands are always moving. Um, I talk really fast. I've always talked like really, really fast. Um, I've had brain fog since I was younger. Um, even I can remember like, even in middle school, I would just feel tired all the time and like my brain would not function. On, on good days it would be great, but I'd have a lot of bad days where I didn't have as much mental alertness as normal. Um, the forgetfulness has like been getting worse as I got older, so I'll like get up, go to a room, forget what I went in there for. Sometimes I'll forget what I'm saying mid-sentence. Um, so a lot of forgetfulness and just memory issues. Um, I can remember things, but I have to go over it like multiple times for it to stick in my like working memory. So like phone numbers, if someone gives me a phone number, I can't really remember it. I can remember like four digits, maybe five, but after that it just kind of, I can repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, but then like shortly after I end up forgetting it or I have dyslexia too. So sometimes I'll switch the numbers or when I'm writing, I'll switch the letters or I'll switch a letter and a number. So that's fun when I'm writing. Um, uh, as far as like, I, time perception for me is a little bit wonky too. So um, I'll start a task assuming that it'll take maybe two hours. It could end up taking six hours. Um, like when I was working, um, I would be late to work and then rushing out the door, um, which led to like, not wanting to get in trouble so it would ended up being like more anxious feelings for me so I would end up showing up to work like 20 minutes early because I was terrified of being late um, because I could just not remember like how long it was gonna take for me to get ready and things um, again like uh, I talk really fast and I fidget and move and I used to tap my knee when I was in school because I, I couldn't move around in my chair without getting in trouble. So I would tap my foot or tap my nails or just zone out in daydreaming. I, that still happens. Someone will be talking to me and I'll be off in La La Land, not listening, not paying attention, just thinking about something really random. So that is fun. Um, procrastination was big for me too, especially like in um, my elementary middle school years, I would procrastinate something to the very last minute and either not do it at all or get it done, but have it be a rush job. And the same thing in college, but a little bit less because I learned how to study better then. Um, but I always still put things pretty close to the wire. Um, never putting things in their correct place. So I'll take something that belongs in the apothecary and I'll bring it in the kitchen or I'll take something in the kitchen that belongs in the apothecary or sometimes I'll set things on the apothecary table that goes in the nail salon. It's just, I set things places with the thought and full intention of taking it to where it goes, but it ends up sitting in that spot. And then I go back and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I was going to put that away. And then I'll go do that. And so I'm like off on different tasks all over the place, all over the house all day long, just trying to figure out life. Um, I also, like the, the other day, I had salt and I, mid putting it away, I'm like, you should zip the bag shut because if you don't zip the bag shut, you're going to spill it. Had the thought, literally 
didn't zip it, put it back up there. And then two days later I pull it down and the salt goes everywhere, gets under the microwave. It was horrible. And I knew it was going to happen. But for whatever reason, I told myself to do it, but I still didn't do it. Uh, same thing with my contact case. Three times this week I have left the lid off my contact case. So at night I put them away, but I don't screw the lid on. And in the morning when I get up to put them in, I pick it up and it drops down and water goes everywhere. And it's awesome. So yeah. Uh, forgetting things and putting things in the wrong place, forgetting to do things. Um, I forget my laundry all the time, so I'll start a load and then two days later realize, oh yeah, I was doing laundry, and then I have to wash it again. So my mom and me joke that <laughs> I always have to wash my laundry twice, so it must be extra clean. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Or I'll put things in the dryer and I'll have something in the washer, but I won't think to take the thing out of the dryer to put the stuff in the washer into the dryer before I go to bed or I'll put all the clothes that I need to fold out and then I'll walk away and do something else in the kitchen and forget I have clothes over here that need to be folded so then I'll go back to the clothes in the middle of cooking. It's fun. Um, uh, I have trouble uh, with like chronic fatigue. Um, I've had that since I was like 12, got diagnosed when I was like 19. So I am tired all the time. I, I can sleep seven, eight, nine, whatever hours, and it doesn't matter, I'm still just as tired. Um, so I use a lot of like caffeine and uh, nootropics to try to help with the energy and the mental energy and to help with the brain fog and everything. It's a lot. Um, hopefully they'll be helping me with the chronic fatigue syndrome soon. Um, they are gonna, look at medication for me. I was on uh, methylphenidate and it was on it for like six months and it did help, but I don't know if they're going to get that one this time. So it might be different. I'll let you know how that all goes. Um, interrupting when someone else is talking. So I have a problem where I like will blurt something out or interrupt someone and I'll feel really rude. And it's not because I'm trying to be rude. It's because the thought in my mind has to get out before it's gone. And so then I might like get ahead of myself and it's kind of embarrassing when like I'm constantly interrupting people. Um, and again, with the, the daydreaming, like just going off into la la land. Um, I'm also impulsive when it comes to certain things like shopping, I'll buy something and be like, oh, I need that, but you know, really don't need it. Um, so I can be a little impulsive with spending. Um, and an unnecessary risk taker. I would say that was more when I was younger. Um, but as an adult, like the disorganization thing drives me crazy. I have these piles that make sense to me, but they don't make sense. They don't work, but I still pile them. It's like, usually it's books and notebooks, like of things I'm learning or video ideas. And I'm just like, I have a gardening book. I have an herbalist book and then a bunch of books that go with things and it's just a lot. It's all in this big coffee table that I have that actually has like magazine looking book um, slots for books, excuse me. And then the uh, it has like baskets and it's really cute. I'll show it to you one of these days. But anyway, that has to have all these certain little things and it drives me nuts that I have to have them out there. But in my mind, it's like they have to be there. Even though somebody else might just go put it in a drawer or a closet I have to have all the things with me. Why? I don't know. But that's um, fun. So I have to have a big coffee table. And I do like to multitask. So I'll like listen to music, read a book, and watch TV all at the same time. Or I'll talk on the phone, read a book, read, read things. I'm just constantly doing things in all directions. Sometimes I can get like a hyper focus where I focus on one thing at a time and that those days are like precious because I can actually get in the zone and focus, but they're very few and far between. So most of the time I'm just trudging along trying to have the energy to uh, live my day. Um, the things I've had that have helped me, um, I use caffeine, coffee tea, um, nootropics like um, Alpha Brain, um, brain force. There's a few that I've taken that I really like. I'm going to try a new one this month. I'll let you know how that works out. Um, 
but as far as like energy I have these pouches like I'm not gonna show you but I have one in my mouth it's kind of like those nicotine pouches that people that use um, well I used to use them they're like pouch things anyway um, these ones don't have any nicotine in them they're they have a um, what was all in these like mint and um, some uh, one of them I, I can't remember I have two different kinds um, but they have like caffeine and some herbs um, I'll have to get those out in a like dedicated video I think they're called uh, healthy dip I believe anyway they're uh, one of them has five not 5-HTP, it's uh, L-theanine and uh, GABA, and that one I think is called Alpha, Alpha something. Anyway, I'll get those and show you them, like, maybe next video. Um, I am going to do a video coming up soon on Wild Lettuce, could be in a couple days, uh, should be in a couple days, I should say, and then around the 1st to the 5th, I'll be doing the um, starts for the brassicas for the stuff that's going to go in the garden in March. So that it goes in early here because it's a cold weather um, plant that needs to be grown throughout the cold months. Because here, if it grows, grows past like May, cabbages just don't do anything because it just gets so hot here. It doesn't work to grow them in the um, summer for me anyway. It never has. But yeah, so that's just a little bit about the uh, symptoms that I have, things I deal with, things I'm using to try to help, and um, the other things I use to try to help are like reminders, to-do lists, um, appointment calendars big on that. Um, I have a, I don't have it on, but I have a Fitbit and so I can tell my little Alexa on my Fitbit to, to remind me to do things or whatever. Um, so I use things like that to help remember because I know I'll forget. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm glad to be back with you and I hope I'll see you soon and that you'll come back and like, click, subscribe and share if you want to. It might help somebody you know or maybe you if you think you have some of the symptoms of ADHD. So um, I would recommend if you think you do that you talk to your doctor and then see about maybe seeing a psychiatrist. That's what I did and uh, they were really helpful. So, so far so good. Um, I'll let you know how that goes as far as what they decide to put me on and how that's working for me. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching and I'll see you next time.